It's a mega Google day. Pixel phones and Google Home, 4K Chromecast and Daydream VR, and more. It's Tuesday, October 4th, and this is Crunch Report. Today on Crunch Report, it's all about Google, Google, Google. Google had a hardware event today, and we got you all the goodies. Let's jump right into it. The Big G unveiled the Google Pixel today, the first phone apparently conceptualized, designed, engineered, and tested in-house. The phone will come in two sizes, a 5 and a 5.5 inch, and feature a 12.3 megapixel camera, which Google proclaims is the best camera phone it's ever made, hands down. The new flagship is powered by a quad-core Snapdragon 821 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a decently sized battery, which can quick charge up to 7 hours and 15 minutes. That's nice. Pixel will be running Android Nougat, comes with a help feature a la Amazon Mayday, and awesomely gives you unlimited storage to Google Photos at full resolution. I mean, that's probably the coolest thing. Pre-orders for the phone begin today and start at $649. More coming out of the Googs. I hate Wi-Fi. I love the internet, but Wi-Fi sucks. Always a headache, and when stuff goes out and breaks, ugh! Now Google is creating their own Wi-Fi play with Google Wi-Fi, a new piece of hardware that wants to make it even easier to bathe your whole home in connected, wonderful internet goodness. It's a new tiny router that can pair up with other Google Wi-Fi units to create a more robust, more far-reaching home network that will ensure more reliable performance across the board. A mesh of Wi-Fi to blanket your whole house, if you will. Google Wi-Fi will cost $129 for a unit or $299 for a three-pack and will ship in December. Increasingly, 2016 seems like the year of the hockey puck-shaped tech device. Taking a page from the Amazon Echo Dot, the new Chromecast Ultra might be the most powerful puck on the planet. The new device is 1.8 times faster than its predecessor in loading content and supports 4K video. Just like its older bro, the Ultra plays well with ecosystem mainstays like Android, iOS, and Chrome on desktop. With its integrated HDMI output cable, micro USB port for power, and Ethernet port hidden in the power adapter itself, you shouldn't have an issue working this baby into your home theater, no matter how complex your setup. Chromecast Ultra will ship in November for $69. Since it seems to have the puck size to feature set ratio pretty well figured, the company should try a cooler shape next year, like a dodecahedron. That would look hella dope above my fireplace. Much can be said about Google's efforts to compete with Amazon, but nothing brings a fight closer to the e-commerce giant's doorstep than the new Google Home. The wine bottle and candle-themed personal assistant trapped inside a speaker will integrate with devices already on the market from companies like Nest, Philips, and Samsung. Leveraging the power of Google's search engine, the Google Assistant should be able to respond to queries, manage day-to-day -day tasks, integrate with Chromecast, and call up content from services like Google Play, Spotify, and Pandora. The company's Allo launch with a text-based assistant was a bit of a disappointment last month, so hopefully home delivers on its promises. I know what you're thinking. I want some VR action in my face. Well, okay, I'm here to deliver. Stop yelling at me. Google showed off its latest foray into virtual reality with the Daydream VR View. The $79 Daydream headset looks quite a bit different than other headsets on the market with its fabric exterior. But still, it's definitely more similar to the Gear VR than to the Oculus. It works with the Pixel, connects wirelessly to the newly announced phone, and the headset will ship with a remote to give you some controls. The headset and the Google Daydream platform will launch in November. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And happy Google Day. Check those products out. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.